Good evening, and welcome to Dead of Night Theatre. Tonight we present one of my all-time favorite films, Alfred Hitchcock's The Lady Vanishes. Briggs, oh, good evening. Well, what smells? Have you been eating those Limburger cheese and sardine sandwiches again? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I was just informing our guests of tonight's movie, starring Lawton and Basil. Oh, and Michael Redgrave and Margaret Lockwood. Uh, sir, this is where our editor puts in scenes from the film, is it not? You are correct. Oh, good. I hope he shows Norton and Basil. The story concerns a man on the run accused of murder, a kindly old lady that vanishes on a moving train, and two wonderful characters oblivious to everything around them. Oh, there they are. Oh, thank you, Eli. Sir, would you mind terribly if I retire to my room to watch tonight's movie? I'd like to get into my jammies and snuggle up with a nice hot pot. That would be fine, Grace. You may go. And you, now, please stay tuned for tonight's Hitchcock classic, The Lady Vanishes, starring Norton and Basil. I'll have to keep my eye open for those two. Enjoy. Restless tonight. The end of the year is coming. Oh, you may think Halloween is their night to fright, but beware. December 31st, they'll be out in full force, searching for unsuspecting fools to scare to death. <coughs> no, it's her, Maliva, the witch that imprisoned me in this mirror. I thought that she was going to leave me alone, but I was mistaken. Please, go back to tonight's movie while you still can! It seems Maliva has let me be for the moment. I know she'll be back with all her powers. And I, I must be ready with powers of my own. Oh, I'm not as helpless as you may think in this mirror. I've discovered ways to travel in and out of it, though only for short periods of time. But each time, the duration gets longer and longer. And soon, one day, I'll be free of this mirror, and she will be the one imprisoned in it. But don't fret. I'll be here next week to introduce the last of our Alfred Hitchcock classics, Sabotage, starring Sylvia Sidney and Oscar Hamelka. The story concerns a husband and wife who operate a small movie theater, but the husband is not what he appears to. So, until then, please leave Hawk now, the way you came in. You never know what might happen. Strange things are brewing now. I hope that Graves will have this place back in order by then. And don't forget, Dead of Night Theatre moves to midnight on Saturday, December 6th. So, until then, pleasant nightmares. Thank <laughs> you.